Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is day 22. We're almost coming to the end, so that's a bummer. So this is going to be the advert of cyber 2022, day 22, attack service reduction. And you can, you know, hit the visit site. So we're going to see the site here on the right hand side. And I'm assuming we have to put some actions in place so the, this elf McSkitty doesn't get beat up like he is right now. But let's go ahead and look at the learning objectives here. So what we're going to do is understand what an attack vector is, understand the concept of an attack surface, and then some practical examples of an attack surface reduction technique. So McSkitty can utilize this to strengthen uh, Santa's network. All right, so let's get started. I'm not going to go ahead and read all this. You can go ahead and read all this. But, you know, we have attack vectors, we have attack surface, and then we have the attack surface reduction. So we can make sure he's all sealed up like these folks here. Like these elves have their shields. They're all good to go. They're all protected and all that good stuff. So we have some examples here, you know, close, uh, close the ranks, pop up the shields, control the flow of information, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So I'm guessing we just have one question here. So let's get started. So follow the instructions in the attack, uh, in the attack, oh, I can't, man, I need to make this bigger. All right, so follow the instructions in the attached static site to help McSkitty reduce attack surface against attacks from the Yeti. Use the flag to answer the question. Okay, so this, this fella right here is getting beat up. So let's go ahead, but we can't even open it up in a full screen. Okay, no worries. So we have the attack surface, uh, the, the attack vector, excuse me, so the Yeti has identified an open port on Santa's web server. That's not good because then he can use that as an, a, you know, a point of action, right? A document file with malicious macros is open by the user. Oh no! Maybe you need some security awareness training or something to block that macro from executing. But we'll see that in a second. So some sensitive data related to Santa's server is found on a file sharing website. That's no bueno. Spoof phishing emails are sent to Santa's employees. So maybe you can put something in, in place so we can avoid those emails or you know, some ESS, email security services, or something like that. All right, so password brute forcing attacks is attempt on Santa's account. That's no good. We have that. Then we, you know, we need to strengthen maybe the policy or you know, enable some kind of you know, countermeasure so there's a, an account after three attempts, it can get locked out or whatever. Okay, and then the last one here, Santa's employees found a USB drive in the parking lot after he plugs it into his computer malware and stores on the machine. That's no bueno. Oh, no. All right, so now we need to take the actions. So let's see. For an example, let's go up to, back up to the top. So Yeti identifies a SSH port open. So let's go here. Uh, I would say unnecessary ports are close to avoid. Let's see this. Okay, cool. So we just drag and drop. Perfect. So a document with a malicious, uh, with a malicious macro is open. So let's see here. We can. Trump, no password, no security policies. And okay, so I would put security policy for number two. So security policies are implemented to block the macros on Santa's network. All right. Some number three here. Some sensitive data related to Santa's web servers found on the file servers. All right, so let's see, Strong, no, not password, app lock, no phishing, no, right here, probably. Sensitive data, let's go with this one for number three. Whoop. Here. All right, so sensitive data from the file server site is removed to avoid the bandit Yeti taking advantage of the data. Okay, so number four here, spoof emails. So I would say anything with spoof emails, we can do phishing right here. So phishing protection is enabled on the email server. Make sure we can get those bad boys from sending those spoofed emails. Okay, so the next one here, we have password brute forcing attacks to attempt the Santa's account. We can put a strong password policy in place so we can, you know, so we can eliminate that attack surface, All right? So, and then app, let's go ahead and throw this in the last one. So the app locker is deployed network-wide to block any execution of unknown, un 
found whitelisted applications. All right, so this is it, I believe, and let's just hit next. All right, so the, attack, um, the flag is right here. Attack surface reducted. Let's see if I can copy this and I can just paste this here. That'll be golden, yes. Cool, woohoo. That was fun. So hopefully you guys learned something new with the attack service reduction. And it's a bummer because we're almost done. And what is today? Today is, what is today? Thursday, the 22nd. And I can't believe it's only two more days. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this journey with me or you know, with everyone that was associated with this advert of cyber for the last 22 days, John, um, whoever else was, uh, you know, I, I just watched John Hammett's video because uh, he's, he's, a, he's a good guy. So I just want to say thank you so much, you know, from watching my videos. And thank you for, from TriHackMe from putting on this event. This is awesome. I'm, I'm so grateful for this. Hopefully everyone that did this challenge or did these challenges every day learned something new. I definitely did with some IoT hacking, with, with, with the secure coding. The I believe there was another one, hack a game, that was fun. And smart contracts, that was definitely new for me for the Ethereum. So there was definitely some, some stuff I learned on this journey. So I'm super grateful for that. And hopefully you guys did the same. And yeah, until day 23, have a good one. Happy holidays and catch you on the flip side, folks. Take care.